This is the first time that a private company has achieved this temperature threshold in a tokamak and in fact the first time that any company has achieved it in a spherical tokamak. ST40 arming. ST40 so when we found out we'd achieved 100 million, it was it was a great feeling. It wasn't a kind of instant moment where we we suddenly did it. We we got some really encouraging data that suggested that we had likely achieved the milestone, and then we had a quite in-depth process of analysis and data verification to verify the results. We've used well-established plasma measurement techniques that are recognised by the scientific community in order to measure the 100 million degree temperature on SD40, and we've combined several different measurements. So when they all line up and give us a measurement of 100 million, we know we've really reached that goal. Achieving 100 million degrees is, is really great, particularly given that the instruments I've been working on have had such an important role to play in, in verifying that temperature. Achieving 100 million degrees means that we know that we can create the kind of temperatures that are needed to produce commercial fusion. So in order to achieve this milestone, our team's worked incredibly hard. Everyone's kind of really pulled, pulled out all the stops. It's, it's a very diverse team. I think Tokomaks are made up of lots of interconnected systems. So we have quite a big team that's required to, to run and operate SD40. And really each one of them has, has kind of made this possible. I'm extremely proud of the fact that the team have achieved 100 million degrees in the control room. This is the culmination of at least several years of intense teamwork, cooperation. It is an extraordinary achievement, particularly in light of the fact that this has had to be done during COVID conditions, where many of the staff have had to work remotely, supervising and monitoring a whole complex array of interconnected communication. It's an astounding achievement when you consider that we have a staff of less than 200 people and we've spent less than 100 million pounds to achieve this objective. I'm really proud of that achievement and I'm excited to see what we can do next. What we're seeking to do here has the potential to change history. It's, it's time, time for fusion. fusion.